I'm here at Mobile World Congress at the Intel Software Booth with Kenneth. Kenneth, tell me what, what you're showing here and how it's helping developers. Well, we are catering to web developers, so a lot of developers have told us that they want to use the web to create applications, but it's a big problem on Android because there's different versions of the web engine on different versions of Android. So what works very nicely maybe on the latest and greatest Lollipop doesn't work very well on older Android. So developers, they have to test on different devices and sometimes think it just doesn't work the same way. So what we've done is that we've taken the same code that is used by the Chrome browser and turned it into a web runtime that allows you to create web applications and distribute it together with our runtime and put them on the Play Store. So you get like real nicely looking web applications. And you've got a real example here to show us. Yes, this is a small example that I wrote myself. So you see it looks exactly like a native app. Like there are even sliders and toggles. And if you didn't know, you would probably guess that this was a native app. And game designers are always telling us they love using the web. What are you doing to engage them? That's true, and game designers have been telling me that they, they need to engage users, their users, so they need to have a lot of things going on in the scene, and they made as much as possible. Our chipset supports something called SIMD. It stands for Single Instruction Multiple Data. So instead of using multiple instruction to like do an addition, you can do that on a vector instead. Thus, either you be, you're finished earlier and thus spending less power, or you can just do more. So I have a nice example of that. It's an example like animating birds, like finding their position and velocity. And it tries to add as many birds as possible without dropping below 30 frames per second. So let's start by showing that without SIMD. As you see, frame rate slowly starts dropping as we add more birds. Now it's around 30 frames per second and we have got around like 28 birds. And then what happens when you apply SIMD? Well, let's find out. Now we're adding the SIMD birds. So you see that when I get around 30, I still have 60 frames. Now it starts dropping immediately after. But when I get around 30 frames per second, I have like more than twice the amount of birds. And this is something game developers, they really want. That's a great tool. And when's this going to be on the market? Well, this is already available in Crosswalk today uh, and optimized for Intel. And, but this is becoming a part of the JavaScript standard and is scheduled to become part of what they call ECMAScript 7. So that's probably a year from now. Fantastic. Look forward to it. Really good to meet you today. Thank you. Thanks. Likewise. Take care.